I'm in big trouble. You'll see, you might see me in town on Friday, to be honest. What's going on everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel, back at Ibrox today for the home game against St John's in the last one before Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everybody when it comes, but getting right into the business, this is absolutely vital. We've heard Clement talk about it in the recent interviews about you cannot let the highs get to you too much, especially at this stage of the season, we need to just feel it, we can quickly go from the very highs of that last week to the very lows if we don't pick up maximum points in this one tonight. An interesting rumour has been circulating around of Alfredo Morelos potentially coming back. For me personally, I would be all aboard this as long as it's a short term deal. If we could get him on a six month deal until the summer, just with our current injury situation with the team, you know he's not going to have a settling in period, you know he's going to come right in here, he's going to get us a couple of goals, yeah. For a six month, I think it's a no brainer for me, but I'd like to know your opinions in the comments. Would you take Morelos back just for six months? And hopefully, we'll see Clement up there swinging a few more trophies around by the end of the season. We're not going to ask as to when or how, but you're feeling good in yourself. Yeah, I just had, uh, I just seen the doc uh, inside. He's giving me good news, so, so I'm feeling good now. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, Rox, uh, well, it's good to get all the families together, uh, and then I think that we we all came in Monday, and then we, we had a reset, and we want we want to win more. Um, so we can't keep thinking about what we've just won. We need to move on to the to the league, and it's a massive game tonight. Nico, you can talk and Yeah, I think, I think when you win games, um, your confidence go, go high. Um, and when you win important games like, like, like Thursday and Sunday, especially Sunday, you know when you go out and see the, the fans and, and enjoy with them, it gives you a lot more confidence for the game coming. So, so I think you now we have full confidence. What was um, every away game feels like home game with our fans behind, so it's amazing to play. Yeah. I know, right? Ask Connor Goldson and he went, oh yeah, I've just been to the port and we got all ours sorted. I feel bad because I've got about two. How are you doing, Nico? Are you ready for Christmas? I uh, still miss four or five, so it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. What about you, Ben? Are you ready? I'm in big trouble. You'll see, you might see me in town on Friday, to be honest. <laughs> Seriously. Rangers Against starting 11 for today and there's one St. big surprise in this one today. One, That's the reaction to all of us. Just want to put on here quickly before we go on as well, the support that I've got on the channel and in person at the games over the past week has been off the scale so I appreciate it so so much but if you do enjoy the videos, if you haven't done so already, leave a like in the video and hit that subscribe button just to make it past that 14,000 subscriber mark. Incredible.
well worked for a team. Oh, hey, Lewis. So, half time very dominant, the only thing you would say is you're disappointed not to have another goal there. One more would just completely kill this game off, but don't expect them to be able to run about for as long as they did in that first half, especially being 10 men now. They'll have used a lot of energy there. Well, there was certainly not the prettiest, especially playing against 10 men for so long, but a large part of that down to the way that St Johnson were playing there, just so anti-football. It was, yeah, embarrassing to watch, but that's down to us to try and break that down, because we know we're going to get that in this league, and we're needing to find better ways to score goals in this league. I mean, but we're always going to get a pair of the Rangers anyway, so we're fine, right? Between that to them bringing out Santa at half-time in the League Cup, that was so childish, so petty, and I absolutely love it. That was done for no other reason, just to take the piss out of that lot for booing Santa. How dare they? That's how you treat Santa in there. <laughs> and that's all for this video though, so I hope you have enjoyed it. If you haven't done so already, please leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you all in the next home video, which will be the Ross County at home game. If not, for those who want to tune in there, we'll be doing a watch on from a while away. But Merry Christmas still when it comes.